This border has seen fewer migrant encounters than expected since the end of Title 42 last week. In fact, they are down about 50 percent. And now the focus shifts to messaging and how to keep those numbers down. Our Robert Sherman is live in El Paso, Texas this morning with the latest. Robert, good morning. Good morning to you, Mitch. And yeah, we were expecting a large surge of migrants to cross the U.S.-Mexico border once Title 42 expired. That really hasn't happened here. But it is important to note here, Mitch, that after a Florida judge struck down a Biden policy, which meant was meant to alleviate overcrowding, we are starting to see some of that down here. I want to show you this video, which comes from Congressman Tony Gonzalez. This is showing the central processing facility here in El Paso. Gonzalez says the maximum capacity in the center is 1,000, but there are allegedly 6,000 people here in this video. So over six times the capacity rate. And our sources with the Border Patrol say, look, if you want to have a long-term impact here, the federal government needs to win the war of messaging. While officials say the border is closed and there are consequences for crossing illegally, criminal smuggling organizations are telling migrants the opposite so that they could stay in business. And that's because they had the wrong information. And, and we've talked about this a lot, that people came down here saying, if you get here before Title 42 expires, right. then you'll be in the United States legally and you'll have immigration, you'll have... Uh, the catch and release legal. sends that message also. Well, it, they were told that, that if they got here, they would have immigration asylum, and, and that wasn't the case. Our Border Patrol sources are telling us that they agree with the messaging they've seen from the White House, that that messaging needs to continue. But they do say that they're not ready to declare victory down here at the border yet by any stretch of the imagination. They say, look, it's one thing to share those messages and really hammer that home, but it's another thing to back it up with action, not just for a day or a week, but for months and years on end. Adrian? Yes, this problem, uh, this crisis is not going to be eradicated simply by the elimination of Title 42 and the implementation of Title 8. That's been obvious. Robert, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.